What's happening, y'all? Welcome to Wanna Go Fishing. Man, it is a bright and sunny, but crisp, 35 degree day today. Had some screwed up rain, goofy rain yesterday. It wasn't even in the forecast. We were supposed to do all of this yesterday, and then, then I got called into work and had to go work and all that crazy rain and all that weird stuff. So yesterday was a complete blowout. Just blown out. But today, sun's out nice and shiny. We got a special day planned today. We're going to do some vintage driving. We're going to do some vintage retrieval. Everything today is about being old. I don't like that. Anyway, my youngest son is coming with me, so that's the one thing that's not old. Okay, so we'll take him with us just to break the monotony of all the old and cold. You notice if you take the C off of cold, you get old. Why is that? Two things do have a lot to do with each other later on in life. depressing. So, what we're in is a 1969 Chevrolet Impala. Today we decided that uh, we were going to go hit some of the flea markets and the antique stores, try to find some of our old vintage fishing equipment, and what better way to go than an old vintage car? Which really kind of stinks to say because I was born in 1969 and I don't feel old and vintage. I look it, I don't feel it. Let's drive on and see what we find. So, here we are. Uh, it was the first stop. We're at the Stagecoach Flea Market. Now, I've found many, many of vintage fishing reel and pole in this place. And other cool stuff. There's lots of stuff here. I mean lots of stuff. So let's see what we got. Well, here we are. We're actually inside the flea market. We're inside a shed, really, is what we're in. But this is where I find a lot of the vintage stuff, or just stuff in general that I like to fix and clean up. There's some outside. We're going to look at that in just a little bit. But here's some that are in here. And I already see one thing that I would probably fix up, possibly give to a kid, give to somebody, whatever the case. Little Zebcos. And this is a Zebco 22. I push the button, I feel nothing. That's one thing I always look for. When I push that button, I want to hear that click, because that means she's possibly doing what she should be doing. And it's got line on it. It's a little crusty inside. But I think with some cleaning, it probably would work out. It's even on a little reel, or a little rod, sorry. Not a rod that I'd keep it on. I really don't need a rod. But there's a possibility right there. We'll hold on to that one. And you see these a lot. Oh. Um, mostly boat rods and things like that but I don't use any of that. They're really cool when they're cleaned up and they look really neat on the shelf. They are hanging in a restaurant or bass pro shops or wherever that you like antique or vintage fishing with. I just don't use any of these things. So but they're really cool to look at. As you see, these things are everywhere. I was collecting them, boy. Whew. 
I've had a house full of them things, but we only need this. And we're going to get rid of that, give that back to him, and buy just this, because we've got plenty of these. <laughs> Alright, so we've hit two places. Uh, we've hit the flea market where we did find a couple things. We found a uh, Zebco 22 fishing reel, which was, you know, not vintage, but cool enough. We can clean it up, make it work. We can use it. We can give it away. We can do whatever we want. Anyway, you know, it was $8. So, also found a rod, two piece um, Garcia rods, pretty old. But I do have a couple of little reels at the house that are old Mitchell uh, small spinning reels that it'll work on. So, for $10, I got the reel and that rod. Now we are in front of uh, the antique uh, marketplace in Gloucester. We went in, I didn't have any real high hopes. I, I've gone in there several times and have seen things but never really anything I wanted. But this time I did. Um, a Diamond Fury spinning reel. I've never heard of it. It's made in Japan. It was brand new uh, in the box and it's old. So. I couldn't resist. That looked cool. That looked enticing. So I bought it. Anyway, um, we're going to go one more place and check out what they have and see if they, you know, if they don't, we'll just come on home and we'll do a little table of contents uh, show and tell, I guess you'd say. So see you at the next uh, venue. So, uh, Williamsburg Outlet Mall, uh, I'm sorry, Williamsburg Antique Mall, didn't have anything this time. I mean, they had some things, you know, stuff still in boxes, that kind of thing. You know, hey, I got the box, I got the directions, I got this, I got that. Well, that's, that's well and fine, but, you know, we're talking about fishing reels here that are from the 50s and 60s and 70s and whatever. Um, I use these things. They're not trophies. So, for me to pay 50 or 60 bucks for a, you know, a fishing reel, a spin cast Johnson from, you know, 1960. It's, nah, uh, that's not me. I'm the flea market guy. Call me cheap. I don't care. I don't care. So anyway, that's all for today. We're going to cruise on down the road and head on back to the house. We'll see you there. Back home, man. That was good. That was a good Ric Flair I just did just now. That was a good one. We're back home, man. Lots of miles, lots of miles on the car today. We drove, man. The old Impala was just as sweet going down the road, and it was like sitting in a recliner and driving your living room down the road. Man, what a comfortable old car.
gotta love them. But get them out on the road. Got to drive them. You got to get the oil circulating and the gas to the carburetor and break some of that grease loose and then bearings running around. You know, that's the kind of stuff you got to do. That's what these things are for. Get out and enjoy them. Just like fishing. And today, we had good luck. We had some good luck. Flea markets and antique stores all together. And I'm going to show you some of those things right now. I ain't kidding. Now, here's the first thing we saw. The old Zebco 22. Now, I say old. It's not that old. But it was a functioning reel. And it's just dirty and filthy. You know, will there ever be a review of this? Probably not. I, maybe somewhere down the line or something. But really, this was just a rescue mission on this guy. Because they're good little reels. And they can be cleaned up and they can work really good. And we can use that as a spare. We can keep that behind the seat of the truck. I can give it away to somebody. You know, one of those, but for eight dollars, okay, I paid eight bucks for it. The Zebco 22, you know, good reel. For eight dollars, I wasn't gonna leave it there in the shed, okay, at the flea market. Also, at that flea market, that same guy was a couple of things that I didn't show you that I got because we were in a big crowd of people that was walking around the man stuff, and I didn't want to get people on camera that may not wanted to be on camera. So, so anyway, here's one. A two-piece Garcia Mitchell, and this, no, this may just be Garcia, just maybe. Mitchell hadn't showed up yet. Anyway, two-piece rod, it's in great shape, it's just filthy. The guides are in good shape, all the winding around the guides are in good shape, real seat's in good shape, it really, the cork and stuff is just, it's all in good shape. And I got a little Mitchell 308 that, whoo, I think she's going to look fine on here and that's what we're going to do we're going to put that on here and make it look good after we clean it up now this big guy found him on a big old uh boat rod basically this is a mitchell i think it's an 802 saltwater man that is a beast of a reel right there that just shows you in the 60s that's why popeye had forearms like this because you know he was using stuff like this to fish with but this thing's a beast and it's in really good shape. Um, I see an episode or two coming out of some of these big saltwater things. Anyway, those three, $8 for the little Zebco. Let me go past the pole for just a second. $12 for this big guy here, 12 bucks, okay? He gave me the rod for two bucks because I bought the other two reels, okay? And in some of you people might be saying, well, the rod is only worth $2. Well, maybe it is. But I'm going to take it out there and I'm going to fish with it. And the first cast may break the tip off. Or I might get a rooster tail hung in a tree and break the tip off. Or the first fish I catch may break the tip off. I don't know. But it was pretty flexible and seemed to be in some pretty good shape. So I went ahead and got it. So for $2, ah, come on. You can't even buy a Big Mac for $2 anymore. So, and I'll have this longer than you'll have your Big Mac. I'll guarantee you that. But anyway, antique stores went to two of them. One of them delivered, and it's funny because it's the one that I usually don't really find anything in, but this time I did. And I paid a little more for it than I wanted. Those of you who know me, those of you who know my wife, please don't tell my wife. But I ain't scared of her. I'm not. Anyway, can you see that back there? The Fury Diamond 150 spinning reel. Now, I don't know about you, but anything named Fury has got to be good. It has to be. Even the Plymouth in its day was a great car, the Plymouth Fury. So I figured, you know what? It's a little bit more than I want to spend, but it is still sitting here in the box. The box is a little crispy. Let me take this little guy out of here. Can you see? Let me turn that upside down. You can see that. There it is. The Fury 150. Now, I don't know anything about it. I've never heard of them. But I'm going to tell you what. It is better built than the majority of ones that I have got my hands on from this time frame. And this little guy's in really good shape. There's no scarring on the, the reel seat area here where the reel drops down and the pieces screw up on each end up there. There's no scarring on it at all. So I don't think it's ever, ever been on a rod. So it's got some line on it and it looks to be about... That's four pound test right there. 
I'm going to take all that off of there. We're going to take him apart, look inside, maybe take out some old grease, put in some new grease, and we're going to put this guy on a pole. I don't know what pole. You might be thinking this one here. Well, no, it's not going to be this one here. This one's got a reel already ready for it. But I paid a little more. I paid $25 for this one, okay, because it was $32. They had $32.95. Actually, I'm sorry, it was $35. And when I talked to the lady there, she said, well, we can come down a little bit on that. You know how it is. It's, a, it's an antique store slash flea market. So the next thing you know, she was going to her sales manager, and they were trying to get me to get the undercoating and the, no, wait a minute, that's car lot. I see some reviews. I do see some reviews. And it just fits in the box so nicely. And the box is cool. And I don't normally care about stuff like that. But it's really cool. But. Let me just say, I want to say a couple things. We had a good day today. It was a good day to get out. It was nice and sunny. The car ride was great. But I also want to uh, give a little shout out to a couple of buddies of mine that are out there. Um, one is uh, 10LA, small town angler. I almost said small time, but he's not small time. He's big time. Small town angler. Chris is a great guy. If you get the chance, look him up on YouTube. 10LA, small town angler. Watch him. Very educational. Great guy. Nice nice as he can be catches some really nice fish give him a watch and there's another fellow that i would like people to take a look at tim han fishing and that's h-a-u-n fishing tim is a great guy also getting out there in youtube world catching some fish for us tim is a great guy i watched him go around and he not only fishes he picks up trash around the area and stuff don't you litter don't do it because tim will find you he will track you down and fill your car full of whatever he found that came from you. I'm telling you right now. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> I am actually. But no, Tim is a great guy. If you get the chance to watch him, Tim Han Fishing. Give him a watch. Anyway, thank you all for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the ride. It was fun for us. We had a good time. Got some cool stuff and I see some reviews in the, in the future. So thank you all for watching. See you later.